Everybody, JC here with another TNI toy review, and today's review is in association with MarvelousNews.com, your number one news source for everything Marvel. And today we're taking a look at the new Marvel Universe 3.75 inch scale Black Knight figure from Hasbro. Um, uh, the figure comes packaged in the standard Marvel Universe packaging. You have comic book art up at the top corner. Um, and then you have the Marvel Universe logo with the figure displayed in the packaging so you can see it clearly and the name of the character. Then on the back you've got the bilingual uh, writing with a little bio for the Black Knight which you can read over slowly if you want to pause the video. And then underneath that is the other figures in this wave. The Alpha Flight uh, North Star and Aurora, which are the swap figures in this series, and then Omega Red and X Force Nightcrawler. And then underneath that is a picture of a uh, Sleepwalker, and he's saying, Collect them all. So, again, pretty generic packaging. You know, basically the only thing that kind of varies the packaging. Uh, nowadays for the Marvel Universe is just the comic book art up at the top corner and then the bio on the back. But let's get the figure open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside of the packaging. Now, one thing I, I, I do want to note, um, going kind of referencing back to the packaging, is this is obviously uh, the modern Black Knight, uh, Dane Whitman, you know, the the version that joined the Avengers and everything. Um, I do think it's kind of funny that the bio on the back seems to be more for the original Black Knight, um, the one that served during like King Arthur, King Arthur's time. Um, so two totally different characters, but but the actual figure itself is the modern uh, Black Knight um, that we saw in, in the Avengers comics for the most part. Um, now the figure comes with a removable cape and a sword, his ebony blade, and a sheath that actually detaches from the belt. Um, he's got some nice detailing on the costume. He's got his helmet, uh, which is not removable. Um, and he's got some nice paint detailing with the gold trim and everything. Uh, they made it so his eyes are basically all white. It would be kind of cool if the helmet was actually removable, but it's not. Um, the cape, however, is you can basically pop his head off and take the cape off if you want. Um, then he's got his Black Knight insignia on his chest, the flying Pegasus that he would often ride sometimes in the comic books and then he's got this gold belt that fits loosely on his waist the belt itself is not removable um, but the sheath is you can just pop off and then his sword um, basically fits right inside the the sheath now one thing I will say is I'm not really impressed with the sword. Um, there's not much detail on it. The handle's just gold with some X markings and then it's just a generic looking blade. And the only reason why I kind of mention it is because, I mean, basically the whole, whole power of the Black Knight basically is his ebony blade. And so, first of all, the blade really should be black if I remember correctly. So it's kind of disappointing that they didn't really put some extra detail on this particular accessory since his power is so focused on the sword. Um, I, I do like how they gave him the removable sheath and everything but again I, it would have been nice if they maybe put some more details in the sword itself. Um, the handles really not, this isn't what the handle really looked like in uh, in the comic books or anything like that. Now, you know, just to kind of give you an idea, 
yeah here's here's the Marvel Legends version here's the sword and even though I think the handle was a little big on on this you know I like how it was more true to what it looked like in the comics and you know at least gave it a black blade so it would have been nice if they had kind of maybe just like I said gone a little extra on the detail for the sword just because his sword is is what his powers revolve around and everything and if you're not familiar with the Black Knight basically his sword was forged from some kind of meteorite and then had a spell put on it um, by Merlin and the sword was basically you know one of these deals where it could kind of cut through anything but the thing was is if he like cut anybody or killed anybody with the sword there was a curse on the sword and basically it would drive him mad if if he killed somebody with the sword and I think if I remember correctly at one point that happens um, and they managed to reverse it but he has to quit using the sword and then they give him this energy sword at one time um, that he uses I think eventually he goes back to using the ebony blade but uh but that's basically the, the short, and there's more details to it, but that's kind of the, the short version of the story behind the Black Knight and his sword. So here, um, here's the Marvel Legends figure for the Black Knight. Um, you know, basically, the Marvel Legends version is a different costume. The Marvel Universe one is the more traditional costume that Whitman wore, so I like that. Um, now he doesn't get a shield like the Marvel Legends version did, but he does get the sheath like the Marvel Legends one just had a belt loop basically you could stick stick the sword in so I like the overall look of the Marvel Universe one better over the Marvel Legends one. Okay, so let's take a look at the articulation on this figure. Um, his head is attached to just a ball joint. There's no hinge on the ball joint, so he can only look up a little bit and down a little bit. He doesn't have much up or down movement. He can look left and right without any problem. Shoulders are standard uh, ball hinge joints. He's got the swivel at the uh, bicep. He's got the single hinged elbows and then no wrist articulation at all. And both hands are sculpted in a way where he can pretty much hold his sword. And one thing I will say is I am glad that most of the Marvel Universe figures that have come with swords, like Taskmaster and Baron Zemo, who really don't hold their swords very well at all, I am glad that at least they sculpted the hands and the sword so that he does hold the sword fairly decently. Um, he's got the midsection twist, um, ab crunch. He can look down pretty good at the at the midsection and look up some. No waist swivel or anything. Um, legs are attached with standard ball joints. Um, he can't really put his leg back because of the way the the butt sculpted but he can put the leg forward fine. He's got double hinged knees. He's got swivel at the top of the boot. And then he's got hinged ankles, but no ankle pivot. And then he's got two peg holes at the feet. So it's not terrible articulation, it's not, we've certainly seen others like the Omega Red figure I, I reviewed earlier, um, certainly had a little bit more articulation, um, ankle, not having ankle pivots is a little disappointing, um, but otherwise, you know, it's not too bad articulation. Okay, so that uh, about wraps up my review. Overall, I'd say this is a pretty good looking figure. Um, if you're a fan of the Black Knight character, then again, I, I definitely think this is the best version of the character. You know, this was a costume that I remember most in the comics. Um, so I'm glad they went with, with this version of the Black Knight. Um, again, a little disappointed with the lack of detail on his ebony blade and some articulation like ankle pivots and such would be nice but the paint apps are, are pretty solid um, 
not a lot of shading or anything but it's got the dark silver metallics and dark navy blues with the red trims and, and gold trims which look nice and then the lighter blue uh, cape which is removable um, and there's some nice sculpting on on the cape to give it kind of a flow look and everything so uh, again overall I think this is a decent looking figure and worth picking up if you're a fan of the character um, this wave with the Black Knight is hitting retail outlets now places like Target and Walmart are starting to carry it plus you can uh, find it at your favorite online e-tailer like Big Bad Toy Store so that's my review I hope you enjoyed it until next time I'll check you later